What's up, everybody? My name is Lei Hua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Today, we are reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you'll be notified on the next upload, and if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2, episode 14. And there is something I need to talk about! Okay, first let's just do an overview of what the episode was about. Basically, it had the Me Team with Rimuru, the Dura Tempest Federation, the Dwarf Kingdom, the Elves. <clears throat> uh, they were called like something sorcery, something, something like that. And then we got um, Blumid. And then we got our Falmouth <laughs> that Rimuru kind of took over <laughs> with Yom. And we got the Animal Kingdom and the Druid Tempest Federation, right? <clears throat> so we have that meeting going on. And Rimuru introduces Veldora. And everybody's super surprised that Veldora is around. They're like, what? Then Dwargo and Elulud take Rimuru on the side and they have Rimuru tell them everything, explain about everything. And Rimuru explains from when he got reincarnated till now, and they're just shocked. And they're explaining where they stand and how they stand and all this, and they're going to back him up. The other part that they show in this episode was one of the clowns of the troop was investigating the Western Holy Church and a vampire was there and it turns out that vampire was a demon lord, that demon lord Valentine and that clown was having a meeting with Yuki wanting to summon people, the Grandmaster, the one that helped Rimuru go into that school and help with those summon kids. I'm like shocked. Like I know they showed him in the last episode towards the end, like a little flash of it. I not gonna lie, I forgot about it. But to see this again, I feel betrayed. And apparently he revived a former demon lord, Kazarim, and he did something similar to Rimuru where Kazarim's soul was in him. I don't know how that could happen. I understand Rimuru because he's a slime, you know, he has like a was it, unlimited space in him while Yuki is supposed to be human. So I'm very curious how that happened, how he interacted or encountered encountered Kazurim and got Kazurim's soul in him and he got a humunculus and put Kazurim's soul in it something very similar to what Rimuru does with demons and then it turns out that Kazurim was destroyed by Leon Leon has a demon lord who used to be a hero I think Leon who summoned Shizu so Leon is someone that Rimu wants to get to get answers from about Shizu, right? Or maybe defeat him because he wants to avenge Shizu. But Leon is the one who defeated Kazurin. So I'm like wondering, okay, you were under Shizu's wing. Shizu doesn't like Leon. Leon defeated Kazurin. But Yuki, you had Kazurim so in you? What is going on? Why? What are you up to? Then they talk about Walpurgis, which seems to be a meeting of demon lords. And there's going to be like a voting that's going to happen and such. They want to do something with the Western Holy Church, but demon lord Valentine is there. It seems like they want to manipulate the Walpurgis to do something about Demon Lord Valentine, which will then affect the Western Holy Church. And the reason they think they can manipulate Walpurgis is because they got Clayman, Faye, and Meline. So there's three of them, three of them amongst the seven demon lords i think it is like one two three four five six seven eight nine no there's nine i'm like looking at a picture right now 
<laughs> There's nine of them. And if we're gonna count Rimuru, it's gonna be ten. But Rimuru wants to take Clayman's spot. Take that title of Demon Lord away from Clayman. Oh, I'm excited for that. I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Anyways, it seems like Yuki is the mastermind behind everything. He's the one controlling Clayman. And I'm just like wondering why? I'm also really curious how this season is going to play out because they just threw us a bunch of information. And I'm wondering how they're going to like explain everything within this season, especially with Yuki, Kazarim, the troop, Clayman. And then apparently we're going to go to Walpurgis. So. When is Rumor going to have time to attack Clayman's territory and meet with the other demon lords? You know what I mean? Like, how is this going to play out? Next, I want to talk about is the Western Holy Church. Apparently, Demon Lord Valentine is running it, which is interesting because Demon Lord Valentine's a vampire who views humans as food, right? But the Holy Church, or Western Holy Church, is supposed to be a guardian of humans. So it's like two sides of the same coin. But I'm like thinking, maybe Demon Lord Valentine is using the Western Holy Church to protect himself and whatever he wants to protect. Or he's using the Western Holy Church to harvest food. <laughs> <laughs> That's also another big mystery. It's like, why is a vampire demon lord associated with a holy church, which is connected to Hinata? Hinata, the one who fought with Rimuru and defeated his clone. So I'm wondering, okay, Hinato is so against monsters, but the Holy Church seems to be associated with a demon lord vampire. So Hinato seems to be either not who she seems to be, or she's being tricked. From what we could tell in this episode, she is a very upstanding person. She's very true. She believes in justice, truth, etc, etc. But... Yo, I feel like she's being manipulated. One thing is she was given a tip from Yuki, who's in cahoots with a former demon lord. And another thing, Hinata is with the Western Holy Church, which is associated with another demon lord, Valentine. So it's like, what is going on? And the last thing I want to talk about from this episode is the meeting with Rimuru and all the other people. So, Dwargo and Elude had a side meeting with Rimuru, right? And they are conspiring. Yes, I'm using the words conspiring to make a story so it doesn't make Rimuru look so bad on how he became a demon lord and such. <clears throat> Because they have to explain how 200,000 people died, okay? They were soldiers from Falmouth and the Western Hurlough Church that got destroyed, right? For the revival, right? So they have to explain how this happened. So Dwargo and Elu is going to help Rumor with that. And Elu especially is going to help because his daughter, Erin, is the one who told Rimuru how to become a demon lord <laughs> or at least how to revive people so Elu is going to try to keep that part of the story under wraps so no one knows that Rimuru's ascension to being a late demon lord is connected to Eren so it's not connected to the elf or to this um the Sorcerer Association, whatever they call it. You know what? I am going to remember their name. I will. I just need to see it multiple times. I'm going to remember it. I promise I will. 
Anyways, in this meeting, I do like how Dorgo mentioned that he doesn't want to be in any hostile situation. So he's going to back Rumoru because Rumoru is a nation. I like how Dorgo called the Druid Tempest Federation a nation that is home to a demon lord and Veldora the dragon. Yo, once people saw Veldora, everybody changed. They're like, holy cow, you have someone powerful backing you so it's like yeah Veldora he's awesome uh-huh uh-huh and can I just mention how handsome he is oh my gosh husbando I said that in my reaction I'm gonna say it again and at the last part of the episode we have demon lord Ramirez former spirit queen queen of spirits however you want to call it shows up and tells Rimuru that everything's going to be destroyed. The Jira Tempest Federation is in danger. And it's like, what? Another threat? Why? <laughs> How are we going to overcome this? And they just leave the episode like that with that cliffhanger. And that ends this review of that time I got reincarnated as a slime season 2 episode 14. What do you think about the episode? What do you think about this video review? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash like host of People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have a one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description we're available on all platforms other than that my name is lehua and this is the super Fina channel reviewing that time i got reincarnated as a slime episode two <clears throat> other than that my name is lehua and this is the super Fina channel reviewing that time i got reincarnated as a slime season two episode 14. hope you guys like this video and i will see you on the next one laters Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.